Myocarditis, in short, is your own body's reaction against the heart tissue, which is often triggered by an infection or, or other kind of cardiac injury, but which is sustained in a way that leads to really irreparable heart damage in the long run. It is vital that we understand this disease better, that we understand the mechanisms of the disease, that we understand the outcomes, and that we try to identify effective therapies, because right now there are very few therapies. Myocarditis was not a funding priority for many U.S. and uh, large national uh, funding agencies. And for us to make any headway, we needed to have a, w a way to mentor young people to become interested in the disease. So by providing grants, ultimately, for young investigators to get on fire and un get excited about the disease, that you could create a young researcher community that would support themselves uh, through collaborations and ultimately grow the long-term aim of uh, curing the disease. For somebody to be actually researching myocarditis for us is exciting because it's just not something that a lot of uh, people know about. So just that we could be funding that specifically and hopefully down the road, whether it's 5, 10, 15 years from now, if it if it's, saves one person, one child, that's really exciting for us. When I had my transplant, based on the data that they had then, they basically told me I had five years. I get five years based on the way the medicine was and you should anticipate, you can anticipate that. Well now, based on the data and the information that they have, they tell me and they tell everybody's that you know, I can, I can expect to live a long and normal life. The strides that have been made since my son was diagnosed, that I've been able to read up on and learn about and talk about, it's, it's unbelievable. It's, it's, it's an entire lifetime in a few short years. I had the honor to receive a, a research grant for 2015 from the Myocarditis Foundation which was sponsored uh, by the Kirsch family, um, which is a family that lost their son, Quinn, in 2013 to myocarditis. To see what they have made out of this, um, the, the events that they are sponsoring in, in Minnesota, um, the, the hockey games that they're playing every year for him, that's a great memory for their son. Once I met patients and I met you know, family members that had lost someone, and I heard their stories. I, that made all the difference where, where I didn't want to just treat it as an intellectual question, but I really wanted to make a difference for these people and impact disease worldwide. Those small things that we could find in our research could influence hundreds or thousands of lives. You know, we, we don't know, but we're identifying these things and they could cause a huge impact on the field. Researchers should interact with the Myocarditis Foundation because they have the opportunity through this interaction to step out of their little research world and actually see what an impact their research has on real people. Not just on mice in the lab, not just on papers that they can publish in journals, um, but how much people actually appreciate the research they are doing. And this is a tremendous encouragement uh, to do more research, to work harder, to work longer.